Amber Bell, thank you so much for performing on Valley Advocate, at Valley Advocate Sessions today. Thanks for that. Um, first off, uh, could you mention uh, or talk about uh, how you first got started as a musician? Sure. Uh, well, I started, I've played a bunch of different instruments when I was a kid, and I've always been a vocalist. Um, and I started kind of playing guitar maybe about five or six years ago. And I started playing out uh, probably about four or five years ago. So um, doing the singer-songwriter thing has only been a really recent thing for me. But definitely a dream that I've had since I was a little girl. So it's kind of exciting. Could you tell me a little bit about the, the batch of songs that you performed today? Sure. Um, so I guess those are some of uh, some of my favorite ones that I've written, um, and I think they kind of they feel like they've come from the most genuine place, um, which is why I chose those four. Uh, not that my other songs aren't genuine, but um, I definitely feel like those those are the ones that I've. I don't usually have trouble getting into them, you know what I mean? Get in the zone, and those are the, the easiest the, ones for me to do. The tried and true? Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. So, uh, so, could you tell me a little bit about uh, the, your collaboration with Matthew? And, uh, sure, yeah. So, Matthew is actually only one of the bottoms. There's another uh, guy named Aaron Knapp, uh, who's a bass player. So, we've been playing, we have not really been playing together that long. Couple of shows yeah. spread out yeah. for a while. Full really, only a few shows. It's just so good. He just fits right in. Both of those guys really, um, they just kind of, I love playing with them because they just fit into what I'm doing uh, really beautifully and then kind of shine in within the song, if that makes sense. They don't uh, trample. <laughs> I, I get you. <laughs> um, as sense. a songwriter, what, what do you tend to write about? All oh, different things, and I think that the songs that I chose kind of show that a little bit. Um, you know, I, I write about personal relationships, I write about bigger issues such as, you know, oppression of certain groups of people. Um, I write about, so the last song, Fool's Gold, was actually based on a dream that I had um, during a really grief-filled time in my life, and it just kind of stuck out visually for me. Um, wrote a song based on that dream so anything really <laughs> and uh, who, who are some of your big, biggest influences uh, band solo artists sure sure uh, Joni Mitchell of course I love her I also really love Nina Simone I love Lauren Hill um, I really love artists who uh, lyrically uh, are just kind of masterful lyricists so that's where I think my my biggest focus is typically around the lyrics and the vocal stuff, and then I and I fit the guitar in around that. But okay. yeah. Do you have any shows coming up? Uh, uh, say like uh, May, June. Whatever. Yes. Um, so I'm playing at the Rendezvous in Turner's Falls in May. Oh. Okay. Yeah. So I don't know if these guys are going to be joining me, but um, it, I don't remember the date right now. I think it's mid to late May. So that's probably the soonest one that I have around here. You have a Facebook page, website? I do, yep. I have a Facebook page, and I have a website, amberbellmusic.com. And we're going to be recording a couple singles in June as well. So oh, cool. that'll be my first time doing that. So Very nice. I'm really uh, psyched about that. I, are, do you have plans to maybe do an al uh, a full album? Yes, album? yes. But starting with the uh, small things and kind of building, you know, building a base and then mm -hmm. going from there. Gotcha. So. Well, uh, thanks again for performing on Advocate Sessions. Thanks for great. having us. Thanks. Yeah.